What's up, everybody? Big Herc, getting down fresh out, and you tune into another edition of Prison Talk. I'm here with Bud John Finez, and uh, you know we're kicking around some some different topics. That a lot of you guys emailed me about, and one of those topics was, you know, defending yourself in prison and how you're supposed to react to certain situations. And uh, you know, if somebody's coming at you with a weapon and you do something to them, you know, would it be considered attempted murder or would it be considered self-defense? And um, I figure, you know, let me get the opinion from him and his perspective of, you know, how to handle these situations. Thank you. So you got to understand, right? If, um, say, one person hits another person and then whoever's with this guy says, okay, we could hit that guy. So they hit another person. So we could hit that guy. And then these guys don't even fight back. But if this person hits this person and this person here helps him, puts him at a distance. So if everyone's going to help this person and everyone's going to help each other, it's going to make everyone else not want to fight. So when it does happen, you already know what's going to occur. If I hit this person, that person's going to attack me as well. And when that person attacks me, this person's going to attack him. So the main thing is to do everything really. Like, you don't want, violence is always the last resort. Always. Always. It is, you, it, when, once you've exhausted every <coughs> single remedy, that's when violence comes in. Because there's nothing else you can do. And basically, most of the time, it's defending yourself. It's like, you know, it's crazy because, like, if an officer punches you in the mouth, he expects everyone else to get the hell away. And for him hitting you right there, most likely, there's a good chance you're going to get charged. You're going to get charged. For being hit. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get charged for assault. A good chance. But most likely, it's not going to just be like that. These guys are going to come in and they're going to help you. And that's the thing. You know, if, if an officer assaults a convict and and the other convicts help and jump on the officer, you know, they, you know, it's, it's, it's bad. Like, it, it is like, they, that is like the worst thing you can do in there because, you know, yeah, we're helping him out. But here's the thing. Once you put your hand on a cop, like if they put their hand on you, it, it okay, it, you know, you get, you know, maybe a stab or a shoot or, you know what I mean? I mean, a fight, whatever it is, you get with him, whatever you can, but once, <coughs> Once you assault them, once you're a threat to them, they're going to make an example out of you. Oh, you're done. That's the thing. And you're going to get charged for it. But it's not like, you know, it's not like us helping and jumping in, like, get the fuck off him or watch out. Or, you know, or, you know, sometimes people attack. But it's just going to be a one-time thing. This is going to go on. You're going to get your shit right in that cell. You're going to get your shit when you're transferred. You're going to, you're, everything, you're going to keep getting fucked up for a while. And not only that. You're not going to have toilet paper. You're not going to have anything. You're going to be asked out. And that's mm. how it works. You know, but if, if you tee off, just know you're, you're going to get an ass whooping. That's what it is. But the thing is, that's the sad part about it, bro. So what about if somebody comes at you and you defend yourself and then you get the best of them does it still fall on you even though you were attacked first? Uh, well, you know, it, you felt it, your life was in danger. You know, it, it just depends on it, whatever, like as far as, okay, it just depends on what's seen. You know what I mean? It's, it just depends on what's written up and how it's written up. You know what I and mean? And whether or not the person writing it up likes you or not. You know, it's... Yeah, it, it could be. Yeah, that is definite. That is definite because you know what? If they want, you, they can type everything exactly perfect. They can have exactly the correct pictures or they can do it sloppy when they write it up. You know what I mean? It just depends on what they're doing. You know, and when they send that into the DA, if it looks perfect, they pick it up. If it doesn't, Mm. You know, so yeah. if you—that's what I'm saying. When you really piss these dudes off, they go for you. So you have to maintain a relationship with the people running the system. 
Yeah, good. But the sad part is this. Look. <laughs> Once that cop, you know, he takes off on this person, like, you know you're going to get fucked up, right? You know it's going to be fucked up. But the sad part is, if the person doesn't jump in right here and help, they're going to do it again tomorrow. And that's what's fucked up. So you mean, you tell me as far as help the, help the inmate or help the cop? Like, once the convict helps the other convict out, you know what I mean? If, 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 if nobody jumps, if they just, one person gets hit, they'll hit somebody tomorrow. But when somebody jumps, now they talk to this guy. Hey, look what you caused. This could have been avoided. But if nobody reacts... It, oh, it just becomes a, a, a normal noticed, currency. Yeah. I noticed, and then tomorrow somebody else gets hit, and then the next day somebody else gets yeah. hit. And it's, that's why it's just a preventative measure. Nobody wants to kill these guys that are working their 9 to 5. Yeah. Nobody wants to hurt any of those dudes. Ha have you seen a situation where, you know, they have actually removed the officer for his, his actions being out of pocket? Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. You know? And, and I'll tell you that... Here's the thing. I'm going to show you something. This is the craziest part, right? Because like I was saying, that, you know, like how they look at, you know, internal affairs. Don't think these men and women are any different except w what side we're on. Because look at this. They want you to snitch on everything, right? Let me ask you a question right now. What happens to a cop that snitches on another cop? He's fucked. He's blackballed. He's mm -hmm. out. He's a fucking traitor. It's the same rules. But yet they want you to snitch, but it's just like you said, after they got the information, they, they know you're garbage. If a cop snitches on another cop, he's a piece of shit to the whole force forever. He's sold out. If he's talking to internal affairs, if, he, if the cop is talking to the real cops, no one's fucking with him ever again. Mm. He's considered a snitch. It's insane. But that's how it is. We're all in this world. Come on. We're, we're all in this, dude. They're getting paid. We're, we're paying their bills. We're their security. So they can't sit there and say... Fuck, man, that's fucked up. This fool's in here for this shit, and he's not supposed to be here. Hell, my kid's got to eat, man. Sorry. You know, whatever you did, it's, that's not between yeah. me. Write yeah. your senator. Yeah, yeah. Write your sen and it's true, because yeah. they don't make the laws. They're not going to Just there. enforce. They just enforce them. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back to the old uh, adage I was saying earlier, man. You got to know your laws, man. A lot of you guys get put in situations. You don't know anything about <clears throat> the, the grievance process. Admi uh, administrative remedies and you know you're pretty much hit you know so the best option is to stay out the way you know to not put yourself in a position where you're gonna have to even deal with a situation like this so there you have it big herc prison talk mm -hmm.